Good morning students. Welcome to your English class. The topic of today's video is the combination of two or more simple sentences into one simple sentence. In your previous video, you had learned to combine two simple sentences into one simple sentence by using a preposition with a noun or a gerund. But today, by the end of this video, you will be able to learn to combine two simple sentences into one simple sentence by using a noun or a phrase in apposition and by using an adverb or an adverbial phrase. Let's start with today's lesson. First of all, let us learn to combine two simple sentences by using a noun or a phrase in apposition. Now, the question arises, what is apposition? Apposition means the positioning of the things side by side or close together. Example, Rohan, my friend, is very intelligent. How many nouns are there in this sentence? There are two nouns. One is Rohan and the other is my friend. But that is the same person only. Two nouns are used for the same person. Here, my friend refers to Rohan. Now, which word is giving additional information about Rohan? That is my friend. The additional information when describes the first noun is called the apposition. So here, my friend is used in apposition with the noun Rohan. Now come to the topic, how to combine two simple sentences by using a noun or a phrase in apposition. Let's see with an example. Mr. Brown is my teacher. He always tells the truth. Now, who are we talking about in this sentence? We are talking about Mr. Brown. And what is additional information about Mr. Brown? First, that he is my teacher. Second, that he always tells the truth. Now, we will take up the noun that gives us additional information. That is, my teacher. So, when we are combining the sentences, we will remove the verb is... And put a comma in its place we will remove full stop and put a comma here also so our answer will be mr. Brown comma my teacher comma always tells the truth we will not repeat the subject we will remove the subject in the second sentence let's see example number two Rama defeated Ravna Ravna was the king of Lanka now here we have got additional information about Ravna that is the object of the first sentence. And what is additional information about Ravna? That he was the king of Lanka. So we will remove the verb was and we can write like this Ravna comma the king of Lanka. So our answer will be Rama defeated Ravna comma the king of Lanka. Let's see example number three. Mr. Petnik is my tenant. He pays the rent regularly. In the same way, we will remove the verb is and put a comma. We will remove full stop and put a comma here also. We will not repeat the subject and our answer will be Mr. Petnik, comma, my tenant, comma, pays the rent regularly. See example number four. This is a little bit different. He slew all the prisoners. This was a very horrible act. Now in this sentence, we have been given additional information about an action and not about the subject or the object. So in this case, instead of putting comma, we will put hyphen. So our answer will be like, he slew all the prisoners, remove the verb was, and put a hyphen in its place, a very horrible act. So, what will be our answer? Our answer will be, he slew all the prisoners, hyphen, a very horrible act. Remember one thing children, when we are given additional information about this subject, we will use comma. And when we are given the additional information about an action, we will use hyphen. See one more example. He jumped into the river to save the drowning child. 
it was a very brave act now here also we are given the additional information about an action and not about the subject or object so what will we use here we will use hyphen and our answer will be he jumped into the river to save the drowning child hyphen a very brave act now come to the next topic the combination of two simple sentences by using an adverb or an adverbial phrase but before we start with this topic let us discuss what is an adverb an adverb is a word that modifies a verb an adjective or another adverb in other words an adverb tells us about time place manner frequency number reason etc we can also say that it gives the answer to when where what why how much how often etc now what is an adverbial phrase an adverbial phrase is a group of words that works like an adverb now have a look on this table where there are some adverbs and their adverbial phrases first one bravely in a brave manner or with bravery foolishly in a foolish man third undoubtedly without doubt fourth carelessly without care fifth immediately at once or without delay sixth soon in a short time seventh certainly it is certain eighth abroad in a foreign country so before we start with the joining of the sentences let us understand the positioning of the adverbs the adverbs of manner place and time are written at the end of the sentence let's see some examples she sings melodiously melodiously here is adverb of manner there was joy everywhere everywhere is adverb of place i met her yesterday yesterday here is adverb of time so you all can see the adverb of manner place and time are placed at the end of the sentence now the adverbs of number frequency are placed between the helping verb and the main verb see the examples she never makes mistakes never here is adverb of frequency or number so it is placed between the subject and the verb he seldom visits his parents seldom again here is adverb of frequency or number see some more examples the movie was very interesting again very here is the adverb of degree and it is placed before the word that it qualifies so here very is describing the word interesting so it is placed before interesting next it is too hot to go out too here is adverb of degree so that's why we have placed it before the word hot as it qualifies the word hot now next the adverbs like luckily fortunately unfortunately etc are placed in the beginning of the sentence example unfortunately he lost all his money next children come to the topic how to combine two simple sentences by using an adverb or an adverbial phrase example number 1 the sun had set he had not returned home in this sentence we are referring to time the time is of sunset so we will use adverbial phrase by sunset he had not returned home by sunset okay example number 2 the train was late that was unusual our answer will be the train was unusually late here unusually is describing the word late so we have used it before the word late come to example number 3 beware of false friends this is of first importance 
when we are talking about something that is of first importance we can use the phrase above all things above all things means first importance so our answer will be above all things comma beware of false friends next one they escaped unhurt it was fortunate what is the adverb of fortunate fortunately yes so our answer will be fortunately comma they escaped unhurt so this brings us to the end of today's lesson i hope you all have understood this now open your english grammar book at page number 304 and solve exercise number 181 and exercise number 182 have a nice day thank you